I actually applied with my high school grades while at university. So I got into NYU in a very weird way. I transferred right into junior year after only a year of university in the UK. And I actually applied with my high school grades while at university. You see, I don't think my university actually sent my grades to NYU when I applied as a transfer student. Maybe wrong because eventually that transcript did arrive, but I did get a call from the admissions committee about how I didn't have any university grades on record and that I would have to re rely on my high school grades to, to get considered. So that was kind of weird, but I still got in. And in this video, I'll be telling you about how I think I got into NYU. So three things, honestly. First, I think I got in because of my grades. I got 42 out of 45 in the International Baccalaureate. And for those of you who don't know what that is, it's a program that international school kids tend to take as their final exams. And 42 out of 45 is a pretty good score. It's 98th percentile, I think, in the world. So I think that definitely got me some points on the admissions committee. And second thing was probably references. I had pretty good references from my college professors. Uh, most of them were pretty pretty interested that I was pre pretty invested in the fact that I was transferring to NYU and they really wanted to help me, which is why they probably gave me glowing references or not. I have no idea because I never read those references, but I think my references were pretty strong. And finally, I think my extracurriculars got me into NYU. I had pretty unique extracurriculars going into college as well as in college as well. I was the president of the College Go Society. And for those of you who don't know what Go is, you guys should really check out this documentary called AlphaGo, which is about how Google DeepMind created this whole program that can play the world's most ancient board game called Go. I'm gonna link to it in this video. I'm gonna link to it in the comment section of this video. Not the comment section. I'm gonna link to this in the description of this video. So if you guys wanna check it out, definitely do so. So my extracurriculars were pretty unique. Besides having Go on my my admissions application, I also had extracurriculars such as volunteering, and I even talked about how I was applying for internships in the summer, which doesn't matter, by the way. But yeah, so I got into NYU probably because of my high school grades, my college professor's references, and my extracurriculars. So let's move on to how I think you can get into NYU if you're applying to NYU. So NYU really cares, and this is just based on my personal opinion, honestly. NYU really cares about diversity, and that is because they get so many applications nowadays. It was probably easier when I was applying, but nowadays, last I heard, they got 85,000 applications for around 15,000 spots, I think. So their admissions rate was pretty low this year. And one way to really stand out is to show how you can leverage NYU's college experience. So NYU has a great college experience because you can study abroad at all these places. You can take all these classes that are offered by the college curriculum. It's, it's a great place if you really want to broaden your intellectual horizons, if you want to study that subject that you thought you wouldn't be able to study during college. Like they even had Zulu as a potential class to take. So that was kind of a weird class. Of course, I didn't take it. Instead, I took pre-med physics as an econ major, but you really want to make a case for why you think NYU's college experience is going to suit you. And there's a reason why they tend to admit a lot of very international, very diverse kids. The reason is because they offer a very international and very diverse college experience. They have, I think, more than 10 study abroad sites, and you can actually study abroad twice, if I'm not mistaken. So I applied to NYU Berlin in my first semester, which I got into, and then I applied to NYU London, which I got into and then actually went. I didn't go to Berlin. But you can apply to all these study abroad sites, can take all these random classes like i took economics which was my major i took math which was my major and then i dropped it and you can also take classes at all the other schools that are on offer by nyu you can take classes at stern even as a cas economics student you can take classes at gallatin there's just so many interesting classes to take so what this all really leads up to is how can you portray yourself as someone who will benefit of NYU's diverse educational curriculum. And how you do that really depends on your situation. How I did that was I talked about how I have a pretty international background. 
I grew up in Hong Kong, went to the UK for a year of university, and now I want to go to New York City because I want to work and study at the same time and because I want to really explore my intellectual interests that go beyond economics. So in the UK, they kind of restrict you to one course of study, and I didn't want that at all. I, I studied all these subjects in high school and I didn't like being forced to just study one subject. So instead I decided, okay, maybe now's the time for a change. Maybe I should go and study something else like philosophy and politics. And then they didn't let me. So that's something I mentioned in my college application to NYU as a transfer student. And I guess they found my case pretty compelling. Just to recap on this video, how can you get into NYU? Well, have great grades, great references, and great extracurriculars, pretty obvious, but number four is less obvious, and it's to have a very strong case for why you think you'll benefit from NYU's style of education, which is all about experiences, international experiences, and having the range of subjects to study, which is why they kind of force you to do what's called the core curriculum. It's this, I don't know if they have this still, I think they do, but they kind of force you to take six to seven classes in all these different disciplines to try to expose you to as many different subjects as possible. Like I took Italian opera, I took natural sciences one and two, I took this philosophy class, I even took French again. So NYU's education system is not for everyone, honest, obviously, but if you think you have the, the personality, the interest to benefit off this kind of education system, then by all means, try to make that case for yourself in your application. So that's really my understanding of how you can get into NYU and how to maximize your chances of getting into NYU. I got in the second time as a transfer student and, and the four aspects of my application that I just mentioned were my focal areas. And ultimately, that's how I think I got in. So yeah, that's how you get into NYU. So with that, if you guys have any uh, questions or comments, just leave them in the comment section. I'd love to answer them. In fact, definitely do that because I just love interacting with people who are looking into NYU as a, as a school. I actually just, in fact, I actually just helped someone on their transfer application. They actually got in as an NYU transfer student. And this is in probably one of the most competitive admissions years of NYU's history. I think the admissions rate was like 15%. But she still managed to get in and obviously she had pretty good stats and a pretty good reason and she actually laid that reason out to me and I tried to refine it a bit to make it easier for her to present it to the admissions committee and she got in. So if you guys have any questions, just feel free to ask them. I'd love to help out. And yeah, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching.